is a live feeding, but this is a special one. This is a record breaking time for the Bothrops. Hey, before we get started, a big Venom Central thank you to Brad White. Welcome to the Venom Squad, Brad. Uh, Stephen Stewart Music. Stephen, thank you so much, brother. It's a big help. Um, Peter Carmici, Sean Black, uh, Andrew Veslovsky, Len Brewer. Len, how you doing, brother? Uh, Mark Townsend and Dan McCarty. Hey, thank you guys so much for the support you give us here at Venom Central. What's up, Venom Squad? Happy New Year to everybody. Hey guys, this is a good one. Let me tell you, um, we're gonna share this with you guys because, now I normally don't share my, my these are my personal feeding logs that I use for my study that I'm doing on the Bothrops Magenti, but this one, I wanna show you guys. Um, this is a record-breaking time for the female Magenti, okay? Um, you guys know I've been doing this thing for almost a year now. But and what I found in this whole experiment I've been doing, this whole study I've been doing, is that the females, they are ferocious. They're, they make the males look like little sissies, okay? They actually bite and hang on 92% of the time, where males bite and release more often. But the females are constantly dispatching prey quicker. And now this juvenile female Mugenai, you're going to get to see her live feeding. We do the weights, the whole thing. Now, mind you. This is the record time for any of the Mugenites, even the big ones, even the big adults. She dispatches a mouse quicker than any of them, period. Okay, but here's the thing. Everybody always says, well, you know, the fangs could have penetrated a, 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 a vital organ. It was up behind the head or that. No, she grabs this mouse. Now, mind you, this mouse, we, I weigh them all and I do it all on video and I log it. The mouse weighs 39% of her body mass. That's a big rodent for this animal, okay? And she grabs this damn mouse right in the rump, in the back hind quarter, where there's no vitals, there's nothing but meat, muscle, and bone. And that's where she grabs it. And she kills this thing so quickly, it's unbelievable. It, it just proves my theory that the females do go through this ontogenic change as they're growing, but the females are more venomous. They're definitely holding a different component to knock prey items down quicker. This one is interesting, okay? And guys, I've got some fangs in your face coming. I did all the Bushmaster the other night and we fed some of the big ones. So this is gonna be a fun one, but this is gonna be an educational one. Pay attention to the weights on the animals, the prey item and the snake. That damn rodent is 39% of that snake's body weight. That's a big prey item for her. And it, this one's amazing. But this is my personal feeding log, guys. So I'm gonna share it with you. So we're gonna jump right in and get right to it. <laughs> Bothros Mugenai feeding log number 36. And this is a captive bred specimen by Venom Central. Female and gender, um, she weighs 277 grams. Oh, she's getting big. Very aggressive also. Um, venom components, uh, systematic myotoxins present. Uh, mixture of procoagulants. Uh, zinc medulloproteins present, hemorrhogens. Also uh, cardiotoxins and necrotoxins uh, possibly present. So... The study is to conclude uh, ontogenic change from male to female. Females believe to go through a change in venom capacity at a certain age. So we're going to get a weight on the prey item next. All right, prey item weight is 109 grams. And we will be feeding a live adult mouse today. 
that's a formidable prey item that's a that's a good size for that female okay well, we have 108 grams correction <laughs> okay the bothrops regeni female feeding log live prey item timer is inserted And she is exhibiting what females do. She is hanging on to the prey item. And male versus female, the females are doing this 90% of the time. Versus the males will bite and release. Now, I don't know if this has got to do with the change in female venom. Venoms are a little bit hotter on a female, but that's what we're trying to find out. All right, big girl. Get back in there. Wow, that was that was pretty fast. She backpedaled up the side of that tub. But that prey item is dispatched. Wow, that was quick. That may be a that may be a new record. Very quick. That's a big mouse. This female being just at 14 months old, uh, she's consistently dispatching prey items faster and faster each time. I mean, I, I don't know the time on this one yet. The timer will insert it, but wow, that was that was very fast. This whole study has shown me that females are more apt to bite and hang on, and they do dispatch prey quicker babies to adults the females for some reason are just they're they're destroyers <laughs> is that why they're hanging on i don't know because they they have a more toxic venom they're able to dispatch prey quicker than males males will bite and release are they trying to avoid injury like this little mouse just tried to bite her a couple times but uh, I don't know, but females definitely kill quicker. And you can see she's already taken it down. That was such a fast kill. I'm just, I'm blown away. I gotta go back and look at my other logs and my and my notes. I wanna see how much time she's shaved off on the kill this time. I mean, they're just consistently getting faster and faster with the females. So it's got something to it. I think that change that they're going through as they're growing, the venom components are changing, they're getting more toxic to just dispatch prey quicker. I don't know. Maybe it's more important for the females to hang on than it is the males. I mean, less chance of losing a prey item, but the venom is definitely killing quicker. That's for sure.
Okay, we're going to start out by feeding some of the youngsters in these grow out tubs. This is the Lachesis stenophrys. See, that snake's already alerted. <laughs> Okay, we're going to start out by a couple of these little youngster Bushmasters, these little Lachesis Denofries. And see, this snake's already at attention. Let's see if we can lure him over here with a nice hot rat. Let him pick up a heat signature there. All right, yeah, now he's got it. Here comes the tongue. Ain't that tongue, tongue's computing everything, letting him know what this is. And he's building. He's getting ready for a bang. Here he comes. <laughs> oh, good one, buddy. That's a good one, boy. These little two-year-olds are starting to really put some size on. Okay, and this little youngster is already out in the hunt position for the night. I'm in here a little early tonight, so some of the animals may still be in their hides. They usually start coming out like a little bit after midnight. And it's kind of early. It's only about 10.30. I'm in here trying to get some work done. But he is locked and loaded. Ow! Ho, ho! He come a long way for that one. amazing how accurate they can be. They pick up on that heat signature and they explode. Okay, and you can see this is a little bit bigger of an animal and a lot more anxious. <laughs> Here he comes! <laughs> Atta boy. Amazing. As soon as I pop that lid off this tub, he come blazing out of there. Okay, guys, I just separated some of the great big ones here. And we're going to go ahead and feed this, this big old girl here. Let's cue her up with some vibration first. And, okay, she's, she's picking up a heat source. I need to bring her over here to me, and here she comes. <laughs> she <laughs> oh, she's building. You can see then that tightening up in her neck, and she starts vibrating. She's getting ready to go ahead into a strike. <laughs> oh, good girl. go big girl and that is the business end of a big bushmaster right there 
All right, guys, this is another big female feeding here. And you notice I, I do these, I get on the other end of the cage. The secret to feeding these big Bushmasters is to bring them to you. Don't reach into them. You need to lure them, lure them to you. Let them come to you and focus on that hot prey item. And she's already got a signature on it. And you can tell when that tongue starts working and they start advancing forward like that. And here she comes, she's building, she's building. She's getting ready to reach out and grab it. Oh, there you go, girl. That is the business end of a lachesis right there. Just an awesome animal. Okay, let's feed some sub-adults. Let's lure this girl out here. And she's ready. Oh! <laughs> Just spewing blood already. Man, these things are just like dynamite. <laughs> they just go off. <laughs> Look at this, y'all. This ain't good. <laughs> this snake is hanging two foot out of the cage. If she comes, oh! <laughs> can retract up in there on her own. Look at this one down here. He's like, where's mine? There you go. It's amazing how strong they are. Okay, we're gonna give this little girl one up high. Oh, look at her. Come on, baby. Let it fly. Oh, that was picture perfect right there. That was a good one. Very nice. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. This one was fun. But anyways, and educational. You guys learned a little something this time. But anyways, hey guys. Um, have a happy, healthy, safe New Year, everybody, okay? And let's turn this Venom Squad into a Venom Army, all right? <laughs> hey, if you're new to the channel, hit that V logo and subscribe now. And come on back and check us out at Venom Central. I'm Willie. We're checking out. Later.